African swine fever is a viral disease of pigs and wild boar that is usually deadly. There are neither vaccines nor cures. For this reason, it has serious socio-economic consequences in affected countries. The virus can persist for several months in the environment and in carcasses. Curing or smoking pork products does not always destroy it. Humans are not susceptible to the disease, but they can spread it through contaminated clothes or equipment. The clinical signs of African swine fever are variable and not always easy to recognize. Typically, diseased animals will show some or all of the following symptoms. High fever, weakness and reluctance to stand, vomiting, diarrhea, sometimes bloody, red or blue colored skin, particularly around the ears and snout, coughing and difficulty breathing, miscarriage, stillbirths and weak litters. Most of the diseased animals will die within 10 days. Domestic pigs can be infected in a number of ways, including contact with contagious pigs purchased in affected areas, being fed with kitchen waste, contact with contaminated materials, for instance, from people wearing contaminated footwear or clothing, Contact your official veterinarian immediately if you suspect African swine fever has infected your herd. Do not move animals from the farm. Always change clothing and footwear when leaving the farm. Before purchasing feed, litter or pigs, ensure that they come from trustworthy farms that have carried out the necessary measures to protect their farms from the virus. Do not allow your pigs to have contact with wild boar or pigs from other farms. Never feed kitchen waste to pigs. Avoid outdoor farming in areas affected by African swine fever. Do not acquire pork or pork products from affected areas which could cause risk. Wild boar hunters should not come into contact with domestic pigs after hunting. Hunters and farmers should not leave offal from wild boar or domestic pigs in the fields and forests. Do not leave food or waste in areas where wild boar may be present. Contact official veterinary authorities when you find a dead wild boar, even if the area has not been affected by African swine fever.